time for another shrimp update. Hey YouTube, Brian coming at you with an update on the shrimp tanks for August. Um, we'll just get right into it and take you through each of the tanks. This is the uh, A through S grade Crystal Reds. You can see there's a ton of babies in here, um, but also quite a few adults. And uh, as always, this tank is just the colony in here. They just breed like crazy and really have uh, had a really big breeding boom lately. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's just tons of babies, like on this leaf right here, you can see them. On the walls, in the, in the petri dish, just everywhere. So things are going real well with these Crystal Reds. These are pretty much always for sale, so if you need some, uh, hit me up. I'd be glad to help you out. Next door here is the tank that I was trying to work on breeding the PRL with the uh, Royal Blue Tigers and that didn't uh, that hasn't happened but as you can see well I take that back anyway I've got a ton of PRL babies in here but I'm seeing right now as we speak what looks to be a possible uh, tie B right there it's the first time I'm seeing that, to be honest with you. I love it when I catch something on video that I haven't seen before. So we'll see what happens. But otherwise, uh, so I'm not sure if we've had, there's, there's about four adult PRLs in here, none of which ever bred for me before. So I'm not sure if two PRLs bred or, uh, or we also had a, a PRL breed with a Royal Blue Tiger or if both has happened. I'm, not, I'm new to crossbreeding them so I'm not quite sure how that works if you're gonna see both as uh, offspring or or what so but anyway kind of excited about number one just getting some breeding going in here but number two now that I'm seeing that one I've lost him already But anyway, uh, moving next door here are the uh, SS to SS grade uh, Crystal Reds. Still not a lot going on here. We're not seeing die off, but we're not seeing any breeding. Just going to kind of let it continue to go and see what happens. Uh, PRLs are doing decent. Um, we've got some breeding. Not a ton of babies, but I am seeing them from time to time, and I've got some nice sized juvies that have grown out. So yeah, things are going good there. Now this is what I'm pretty excited about lately. This is one of two things I'm pretty excited about. I'll get to the other. Um, I've been successfully now getting babies uh, to stay alive and grow in the Taiwan Bee tank right here. Now these Taiwan Bees are all Taiwan Bees that I got from Daryl DET Aquarium. By the way, check out his YouTube channel. For whatever reason, I could these would breed before, but um, the babies would just never make it. But now, you can see um, different size babies um, are are popping up everywhere. So I'm I'm thinking things are things are finally kind of turned around as far as that goes. So that makes me real happy, just because I'd really like to get these Taiwan bees breeding successfully. Um, it would be a big a big deal for me um, yeah they're, they're doing good that makes me real happy like I said and uh, you know not much more to say I guess we'll keep uh, we'll keep you posted on that down below here I've had a little bit of success too you can see a few babies there um, another baby up on the uh, sponge filter um, so I'm hoping things are turned around in this tank too, because as you remember, I really haven't had much luck getting any um, breeding going on here. I picked up some, uh, I don't know if you'd call them red bolts or just, uh, they were sold to me as uncolored bolts, but they do have some kind of reddish and pinkish in them. Um, one or two of them came to me buried, 
Um, and uh, so we're waiting to see what happens there. But these Taiwan bees are from a handful of different people, a few different lines. So continuing to just uh, hold out hope over here and see what see what happens with a lot of these. But overall, things are going pretty good down there. <clears throat> we'll head over into the corner here. Um, So up above right now is the uh, the tank with uh, some of my red neos. Not sure what's really going on here. Um, I have also orange eye blue tigers in this tank, but the, first the population of the orange eye blue tigers started to dwindle, and now I'm noticing lately that the population of these uh, reds are really starting to dwindle too. So I got to figure out what's going on there. That's kind of a bummer because these reds were actually really turning out nicely as of late. Really good coloring. There's still a few left. Uh, this tank below is the Royal Blue Tiger tank, always doing well. These guys continue continuously breed. I'm always seeing buried females. I'm always seeing new babies. Got a few red rillies mixed in here. So. And down here is my painted fire red and uh, regular tiger tank. I haven't been paying much attention in here. I did have some buried tigers. And I haven't really seen any babies recently. Um, so I'm not sure if they're hiding or how things are going on that front but uh, the painted fire reds are doing fairly good um, I gotta start calling I just haven't gotten around to that yet obviously some look better than the others uh, crystal blacks down below here are doing real well These are like a, for the most part, an A through S grade, lower grade, but real good hardy shrimp. I've got these available for sale if anyone's looking for them. Hit me up. Next door here is something I'm pretty excited about. I've got Aura Blue Tigers now that have successfully, well, I shouldn't say successfully bred, but I've got two buried females. One of them is right here can't seem to see the other one right now. It's possible she did drop her eggs. But, pretty pumped up about that. Hopefully we'll get some successful breeding there. I should have used dark substrate because the colors just are not coming out with the light substrate. They're kind of washed out. So that's kind of a bummer, but overall they're doing real well. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, up above here are my green jades. Got some kind of various degrees of coloration with these. But uh, I've got a ton of these, so if anyone's looking for green jades, hit me up. Uh, we'll work out a deal. Camera's really not doing them justice right now, but they're a really good looking shrimp. And then, next door here, up above, is the... This is the red tiger tank, and I'm not sure what we've got going on here, but there's barely any red tiger looking shrimp left. Now there were at one time some red rillies in this tank before I got the tigers. I thought I got them all out. I think I've explained this before. But as you can see, there's some weird looking, rillyish, almost orange really looking shrimp right here. There is one red tiger. And then there's this guy that looks like more of a regular tiger. So I'm going to probably start this whole deal over. I've found dead shrimp from time to time in here as well. Um, so I'm going to give it another shot at the red tigers. And then uh, up above here are the blue dreams. Had some successful breeding with these guys. Uh, the babies don't seem to ever make it though, so I'm going to continue to work on them. Probably grab some more from somebody and uh, just continue to work until we can get this uh, this project going real well. We'll take you upstairs. 
Okay, upstairs in the office now, we are looking at the yellow Neos. I've been noticing quite a few babies and juvies lately in here, so that's good. Um, I've seen some buried females as well. I don't know that I'm seeing any right now, but... So this, this colony is doing... You know, I never... It's never just totally booming. But it's it's just steady and, and decent. Never really to the point where I start selling them. I think I've sold a few here and there. There is one buried female right up on the filter, but she's kind of a weird, almost clear color. But you can see a bunch of eggs. Uh, zoom's really not going to work well. Yeah, these guys are doing good. And then over here is the tangerine tigers. They're not doing so hot. I'm down to just a handful left of these. Uh, they were doing quite a bit better. And then now lately I've found die off, a couple dead shrimp a week. Got to figure out what's going on there also. It's kind of a bummer when you find dead shrimp but your water parameters are all in check so um, it is what it is um, as you continue to learn with shrimp you, you start to figure things out but anyway the little five gallon up here is uh, not housing anything right now the black roses I had in here all died off uh, not sure what the deal is with that so anyway I'm gonna figure something out and get something else in there so anyway, that's about it for now, guys. Um, if this is the first time uh, watching one of my videos and you like it, make sure you subscribe. I try to put out weekly, or not weekly, but regular videos, a uh, few a month, on my shrimp tanks, my fish tanks, and also my reef tank. So um, I'd be glad to have you as a subscriber. Hit that like button, leave me a comment. Um, if you haven't already done so, also make sure that you go down below to the links. Uh, for the team aquatic support members they've all got youtube channels as well and then make sure you go over to aquatic support systems on facebook and uh, like their page make sure you go to aquatic support community and join that group as well thanks for watching until next time later